Today is July 5th. That's right, the 4th of July was yesterday. And uh, there's a mighty, mighty storm coming. There's a mighty, mighty Theodora down there enjoying her life like she should. Now let me do a really, really quick update and tell you what's going on today in the Garden of Theodora. Let me show you something. A really quick update. This is our guinea. If you remember in the last video, the guinea had a family. She had a husband and had, I believe it was 10 little babies all enjoying themselves. Well, unfortunately, I don't know if it was a fox or what. We heard the rumblings uh, a few nights ago and the screaming of some guineas. And we came out the next day, the father was gone. She still had a few babies with her. Then over the course of a couple of days, they began to vanish one by one. So this mama lost her entire family in a span of a week. With that being said though, this mama has a brand new baby right there that she's protecting and she's very good and very loving with. And there's another coaching that we have running around here, probably inside me and a good mother because it's about to rain. She also has a small little chick with her. So that's what's going on as far as these girls. Theodora's in the tree, hiding from the storm. The boy bunny has been doing very well. He's taken care of. Like I said, our other rabbit, Apple, uh, she escaped. Carmel here, she's doing fine. This is now the chicken hospital, at least for the week, because they were getting picked on very bad. So I put them in there. Ooh, you hear that thunder? We're gonna go ahead and mate her again because it's been over 30 some days and she has not given us one kit. And uh, so that's where we are with her. She's gonna get mated again to him. I also have some lion head rabbits that I just um, contacted a lady about. And if it all goes through, we'll have two more lion head girls. They're about six weeks old and a lion head boy. And I believe he's uh, six months old. We gotta do some cleanup in here, but let me show you some things. This pepper plant has peppers on it. We've been eating those the last few days. There's some down there too. This is our mighty cucumber. There's nothing on this one yet. We're getting a bunch of tomatoes. They're coming in beautifully. Here's some more tomatoes here. They're not really ripening, but they are coming in. So that's them. We have watermelon sprawling up here. This is a pumpkin, it may not make it. It's been extremely hot, but it looks good other than some of these yellowing leaves. Here's some more tomato. Uh, I don't know, these could be getting overwatered, but they're starting to split. They're blessing though, so we'll keep an eye on those. This is cardboard we've been putting down. The plan is as we mow the lawn, we're mulching all of this, so we're gonna make a nice mulched straw hay path going through here tomato tomato tomatoes corn we have okra here now the okra we planted more than this but this is what survived the heat so that came up very nice and as you see i put down cardboard and mulch here and it's been doing very well so i'm going to do more of that going down I also have rows of corn here that I planted about uh, three days ago. And as you see, it's already breaking through. This is the corn. There's already one happening down in there. But those are our corn rows. They look really good. Back here we have more tomatoes. These are the ones I did in tires. They are doing extremely well. Look, I had the tomato cages around them. Time got away from me because I am a I am a father and an artist, so I've been busy with a lot of things. So I didn't get a chance to prune much, and they've just kind of busted out of their cages. Here's one here in a bucket that I actually forgot about, but it's giving us tomatoes. Yeah. Here's another one back here in a grow bag. I don't even know if this is getting much moisture. Yeah, it is. And uh. There's actually a sunflower in here with it. 
Wow, look at that. You see here, we have some, I believe these are habaneros growing here. And there's also more growing here. And here, there's one. Maybe I'll take that one off soon. But let me show you this. Over here in this grow bucket, we have tomatoes. Again, they're not coming in. We got some radishes that begin bolting. So what I do with bolted radishes is I pull them up and I give those to the rabbits. See these little radish pods here? They'll love it. And we have kale here with another watermelon sprawling here. Got something for you. There you go, baby. Mm -mm. I held on a rabbit a little too long, didn't I? Bah! What you mad at me? And we've been picking off these raspberries here. They've been delicious. I don't even know if there's any more on here right now because over the last few days we've been going crazy. We got some in the house and the plan is to make some raspberry lemonade with it. And this, uh, it's gonna be delicious. Maybe I'll share. Tomato there, tomato there. Looking good. There's some on there too. See them? Check them out. Nice rogue tomato. Growing back here in the garden. And this is our eggplant over here. I see flowers, but I don't really see eggplants. And uh, they didn't get that tall. I didn't really, I mowed around them, but they keep growing back. But yeah, they are very, very short and stubby. My shorties. But over here is where something good is happening. I noticed it today. Come here, buddy. Let's show the world what's going on in here. Oh, Come on, dig in. Yes, we got our cucumbers. Yeah. They've all they obviously been here for a few days. I just didn't notice them. One, two, three, mm -hmm. and four. All right, pull the biggest ones off. All right. Yeah, boy. looks good. Mm -hmm. Still got the um, dried up flower at the bottom. Yeah. Try to pull that off? Sure. Uh, well, no, not this one. This one. Should I get yeah, this one? Yeah, get the big one. Big one. Leave the mm. little one. That lightning. That thunder's happening. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we're about to end this video. <laughs> All right. Look at that. A nice, decent little harvest there for us. Delicious. You want to take it and chop it up, throw a little salt on it. You know how we do, buddy, right? All right. Now, as we say goodbye, I wish the best for you and yours right now. Out here, we don't pay much attention to man's law. We live by the one God's universal law. We practice our mathematics of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding continuously. And I hope for you and yours and your family, you have the knowledge and comprehension to do the commonsensical things that make sense to you. No, but just, you know, be wise in all the things you do. Be intelligent, be diligent, be strong, be, just don't lose your dignity nor integrity over any and everything. It means a lot to me to tell you that. And I hope it means something to you to hear it from me. But as I show for a moment, please give us a thumbs up. Or if you got the moment, subscribe. It'll help us out a lot. The rabbits will appreciate it. And as always, tell them, buddy. You heard it. And don't forget, please subscribe or hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora.